Hey, I think every one of you need to give your kid or your grandkid a credit card as young as you possibly can. You guys think I'm crazy. I know it sounds ridiculous, right? I recently had the opportunity to share the stage with Ice Tea and Coco and Martha Stewart, and I learned that we had something in common. We both grew up really poor. And you know what that does? It, by default, teaches you some financial literacy. Because when you have no money, that becomes your focus. Financial literacy is not taught in schools like it used to be. It's certainly not taught at home because most parents are too intimidated and don't feel confident enough in their own knowledge. So it goes without. So the reason why I think you need to give your young child a credit card is to teach them that this does not come unlimited. You teach responsibility. There's cards out there. I'll name a couple, but there's a lot. Greenlight, FamZoo, there's a bunch. You can go to my website, taxanista.com, give kid a credit card, or just go to resources and give kid a credit card. Give kid a credit card. You can attach it to chores. There's different types of cards. They're actually debit cards for the younger kids. You will put chores on there. So they do the dishes, they get their dollar. They do the yard, they get their $5. You can put extra items on there. See how entrepreneurial they are. Start them young. Pick up some crazy things that are pretty difficult. Put it on there. See if they pick it up and they wanna do it. Because you wanna teach them that you have to earn in order to spend. Then once they've got their money on the card as the parent, that's where the control fun part comes in. Because on these amazing cards that you are actually teaching them financial literacy for, is you can actually control. So you can say, hey, let's say you don't agree with $5 coffees every day. You can turn that store off. Let's say you got a girl that always wants to go shopping and then she's hungry. You can make sure that there's always only so much food on shopping, but there's always enough that you can only spend at food at restaurants. The, the advantages are amazing because you want to teach them these fine foundational responsibilities because once they turn 18 and they're adults, when we all know they're not adults, right? Then they're going to start to get things in the mail. They're going to start getting hit up with ads. When they go to college, there's going to be these credit card booths there, and they're going to give away free crap to give them a credit card. And if they don't have that foundational basis, then they're going to get it, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I don't need my mom or my dad saying it's okay. I'm going to go get that card. And then when they get out of college, they're going to be left with not only student loan debt, they're going to have financial disaster with credit card debt. Is that really what we want for our kids? I don't think so. So when I say, give your kid a credit card, does it really sound as crazy as it is? One thing you can do for your older kids, because you know, you probably don't want them living with you forever, right? So they gotta get some credit going. Add your older kids as an authorized user. You don't have to tell them. You don't have to give them a card. They just get to build credit off of you so that when they move out, they can afford to get an apartment or get a car and you don't have to lend it to them. So I'm Angela Sticka Snyder and I'm the founder and CEO of Taxanista. We're a full service accounting firm, CPA firm, licensed in all 50 states with a presence in four countries. If anything I have said piqued your interest in the slightest, then we should talk. Because you don't know what you don't know, and it's costing you time, money, and possibly the risk of an IRS audit. Together, 
we can end financial illiteracy.